a quick update for those who have inboxed me requesting for an update on the Equilobia flyover here is the quick update I am on my way to Enugu but I've decided to record this while on public transport what you're looking at is Equilobia local government headquarters heading towards the flyover itself. The road is still under construction. You can see the stem, stone base that is being laid on the road. And I'll get to the, to the roundabout. We'll look at how the roundabout is. The project is coming on. Hope that the rain that is now here with us will not disrupt the construction of this road. Now, this is one of those promises made to Indian Umbra that this road will be constructed. Recall that sometime last year, while I was here, I came on site to look at what is happening and I discussed with the project manager then, a young man from Syria, who told me that the timeline for this project is two years, sorry, 18 months and that the project is expected to be delivered December 2024. I do not know from what I can see here if this project will be delivered. I don't know, but I believe the foundation is the key. After this level of work that they do, I think the road to go on top shouldn't necessarily take much time. Looking at this, I must say, though in my view, the work appears slow, but it is steady and is turning out very good. And the quality, well, I'm not an engineer. I haven't done any laboratory test, but from a layman's eye, I can say that the quality of work, the cement mixture, is okay. For those of you who are engineers, please do not roast me. This is the much I can show you that is happening here before I leave to Enugu that I am headed to. I have another video that I'm going to be doing for Enugu. Now I am heading to where I will catch my Siena bus that will take me to Enugu. You know, there are ways to survive in the Southeast. Sometimes you use the public transport for obvious reason. This is the famous Federal Polytechnic Oko in front of that university as we have left from the park. So that's it on that flyover. Now on my way to Enugu. I have been asked to switch my phone off because they want to pray in the bus. But it's one of those abuses that you have to endure when you use public bus because for some reason if you do not comply with their prayers everybody is looking at you as you are the next witch that is going to make the car somersault and go into the abyss the road you're looking at now is called the ufuma awa road this road takes a short cut from ufuma and get you to Amansi if you're headed to Enugu. The reason I have driven on this road many times is because it saves you time and is smooth. This road was started by Governor Willie Obiano. However, at, uh, in Nigerian thing, this road was not completed by him. Governor Professor Chukuma Charles Soludo has taken over and has completed this road. As of last year, before the December, this road was not entirely completed. Some sections were still uncompleted. But now the road is completed. However, there are some sections where the sidewalk, you know, the sideline, you can see them there, are already beginning to um, wear out 
some of them uh, have got some holes in them and I keep wondering, like at the beginning, where they use the same material for the road to do that side, why can't they also do the side to up to the water channel so that the road will not damage from there? Obviously, I know that is that it is because of resources, but. I do believe that even if when we have scarce resources, that if these roads were done, the sites are, were done with the same material, with the same thickness of the road itself, it will help the road to last longer. If you look at this, the water channel are perfectly done, though not in all areas. But the ones that are done are done properly. I would have wished that the government extended these to the point of those water channels in order for this road to last for long. <laughs>